The Ariane 5 rocket will be back in business on Monday the 12th of July with another launch from Kourou in French Guiana. Since the more powerful version of Ariane 5 with a performance of 10 tons in GTO failed in December 2002, there have already been three launches of Europe's heavy launcher. They were all entirely successful, two of them carrying ESA payloads. The upcoming mission, therefore, is a good opportunity to take a look at the near future of Ariane 5 launches. This comes in, uh, in a, a difficult period, in a crucial time for both ESA and Ariane Space. Ariane Space is the company that has been entrusted by ESA to be the commercial operator of Ariane 5. There is a convention between ESA and Ariane Space. Now, the situation of the market is quite difficult, uh, not just because of the technical difficulties of uh, Ariane, but mainly because of the downturn of the market and the more intense competition on the, on the prices uh, due to the many launchers uh, available on the market. During the internet hype in the late 1990s, many new telecommunication satellites were ordered and placed into orbit within two to four years. But today, the market is suffering from overcapacity due to a fall in demand from the financially stricken telecom firms that form the bulk of the customer base. Although Ariane is still holding its position as a market leader, with more than 50% of the commercial launch service business, the recent launch service market evolution has had a negative impact on the financial situation of Ariane space. In order to return to profitability, taking into account the recent market evolution, Ariane space therefore has to increase the launcher performance, which is essential to ensure a dual launch capability in GTO the Ariane 5 core business, and at the same time, reduce the cost of production. The performance increase up to 10 tons in GTO will be ensured with the new Ariane 5 ECA, which unfortunately failed its first launch in 2002. We have uh, what we call the workhorse, the Ariane 5 ECA, the version with the Vulcan 2 as a first stage and the cryogenic upper stage. This version is coming back to flight by the end of the year, and uh, this workhorse for the coming years so will uh, allow Ariane Space to make all double launches, whatever is the satellites to be launched, and this will increase the flexibility for uh, Ariane Space to, uh, to serve the market and therefore the competitiveness uh, using this uh, uh, double launch philosophy that is uh, the, the, the way of working really of Ariane. ESA and its industrial partners are now proceeding step by step to demonstrate and consolidate the qualification of the new launcher version. Major improvements like the new Vulcan 2 main engine and the cryogenic upper stage are not being introduced with payloads from commercial customers, but will use dummy payloads or satellites of scientific institutes or student initiatives who cannot afford a commercial launch. By mid-2005, the new, more powerful and less costly Ariane 5 ECA version will be available for the commercial customers. For the future, of course, uh, with this uh, uh, in place, uh, we hope that the market will respond in a positive manner. But, of course, uh, Ariane 5 is not just for the market. It is uh, an essential tool for Europe to maintain its uh, independent access to space. We have uh, major missions that are coming uh, uh, in this field of institutional missions and that are the evidence of how ESA and Europe can play its role at international level, also, uh, also offering uh, launch service. It's worth mentioning that Ariane 5 will be used, for example, to carry freight to the International Space Station, ISS, with the Automated Transfer Vehicle, ATV, the first launch of which is scheduled in 2005. In 2011, then, a space telescope with a foldable mirror of 6 to 7 meters, the successor of the Hubble Space Telescope, will be launched from French Guiana on Ariane 5. This joint ESA-NASA-Canada landmark project would not have been possible for ESA and its partners if Europe didn't have one of the world's most advanced launch vehicles to offer. <laughs>